Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. As you remember last time, we defeated Erika, gained the fourth badge and officially hit the halfway point of the game. We also have a full team now, which is a plus, so let's go and go back to Pokemon Tower and do that. And we are back in Lavender Town, back to Pokemon Tower, which we will now ascend. And we are going to get to the blog, if we can get in the fucking door, which we can. Ascend to the top of it, where we were meant to be before. Of course, now we have the Sylph Scope, which we had anyway. Never mind, let's just get on with it before I continue to ramble myself into an early grave, which would be appropriate considering where we are. Pokemon Tower! I can't remember how many of these I fought last time. It might have been all of them. Also, avoid the random battles, because no one likes them. Okay, that's fine. I beat you. And you. I seem to remember I fought the one up there as well. I hope so. I don't like to miss trainers. Oh well, it's one trainer. We won't lose any sleep over it. Uh, sure, why not? I discovered something interesting. Well, I didn't really. Remember the yellow flute I got from my coinage? Very useful in Pokemon Tower. Just a uh, sniff my eye. You can dream all you want. Oh, fuck, no, here's a channeler. She looks crazy and she's possessed as well. And launches ghastly at your face. That is all she has. Okay, on, we'll crush you with peck. It's the only move we can use. Nothing else will affect her. The ghastly is a she, so that makes sense. Quite anyone can tell with a ghastly, I don't know. I should be using the yellow flute. And it, I really should have used the yellow flute. Well, balls! And then Nightshade practically kills me. I've got two choices here. Either I take my chances on getting hit again, or I take my chances on confusion. Which is it going to be, Archeon? You bastard. Failure! That's what we wanted. All right, then Tyrannus will pick up the slack. Blorg, blorg. See, nothing's going to fucking stop him, because he has a magnificent bite move. Which will kill you instantly! For daring to oppose my wrath. Now, fuck off and die! We defeated her, got some money, and some bad times in Archeon's case. So let's just go sort that shit out. And we're back with health, macho health, and macho power ups, and no repel. Do. And we got an awakening, handy for sleeping, and we also got a great ball. Well, you never know. Could come in handy. Also, trainer. Enjoy. Easily defeated by Archeon's awesome power of crushing faces with his mighty boots. Face. Boot face! Boot for a face, oh no. What can you do about boot face? Uh, creepy. Two things I've observed about these channelers. First, is that they're everywhere. So let's deal with this one before I tell you. Give me, uh, I'm fairly sure I used to say give me your soul. Child friendly. The first thing I noticed is they're really easy to kill ghastlies. She's not possessed. And there's also, well, it's fully healed in that space. You also get a cleanse tag, which is like repel, so it's a bit useless to me at the moment. Um, Hooper Garb. The second thing, I'll tell you after this battle, where they're apparently zombies. Which means it's Tassadar's turn in the spotlight. And this trainer, whose ghost types will fall pretty easily. The other thing was that they don't give him much experience. That was the other thing. And a nugget. 5,000 poker dollars for selling that little gem. Nugget. Wisdom. Wisdom nugget. Anyway, enough wisdom nuggets. Let's pick up an X accuracy, which I will sell because it's fucking stupid. Come on. We all know you want to fight me, so let's just get it out of the way. Uh, no. Well, that was laughably simple, as are all the battles with Dassadar involved, because he can one-hit everything with his awesome psychic powers. Seriously, these battles are a joke. Alright, I think this is the last one we need to fight before we can get out of here. Apparently something fell out, it was probably her eyes, I don't know. Oh, well, eyeless nonsense aside, let us continue in our quest and pick this up. This is a rare candy, free level up, not that I'm probably going to use it, but whatever. Now, before we can climb these stairs, we get accosted by a wild battle with a ghost? I thought we had the Sylph Scope now. Ah, we do. It's a Marowak, which you cannot capture because it, it, it 
jumps out the way. Even the Master Ball would fail. I think I don't have that yet, or the inclination to waste it. Still, Dragon Rage is the way. Blarg. Maybe it isn't. Haha! -ha, your ground type moves are useless. I will unleash Dragon Rage! Yes, my anger at creepy old pedophile has returned. And you will be the sufferer of its wrath. Anyway, let's quickly dispatch this Marowak, which quote unquote calms its spirit and makes it fuck off out of our way, which is what we wanted. Yeah, yeah that's alright, you can go now. Now before we can claim our juicy reward, rockets, and I can't be bothered to fight them properly, so let's just zoom through. And with that, the last rocket is dispatched. Now, we've all seen me fight rockets before, it's boring as anything. And we save Mr. Fuji from their horribleness, and he talks some philosophical bullshit, which we ignore promptly. And he takes us to his house, and talks some more bollocks about loving Pokemon, and all that yawnfulness, and gives us the Poker Flute, which is what we really wanted. Which immediately awakens, well, exactly, awakens sleeping Pokemon. Which is how we're going to get rid of the Snorlax that was in our way before. But that will be a story for another, another time. So join me then for more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. See you then. <laughs>